My name is Stacy Hamilton. My DIN number is 91G0575. And I went into prison in 1989 and I came out in June 22nd, 2007. I was incarcerated for 18 years. I was in Bedford and I was in Taconic. In 1993, um, I had been in Bedford for two years at the time. The jail was on, which Bedford is the only female max. We were on a prison lockdown uh, where they had called in other, other officers from other facilities to come in. And at the time, a lot of uh, rapes were happening in the facility. At that time, it, it hadn't, hadn't happened to me or anyone that I knew at that time. But the day of the lockdown, an officer, my cell door was open, and an officer entered my cell and said that he had to patfrisk me. The males were allowed to patfrisk the females. Okay. And he liked what he felt, and he proceeded to uh, force me into having sex with him. He was standing in the doorway of the cell. He took his hand and put it around my neck, the back of my neck. And his other hand, he was holding his penis in. He was trying to force me into giving him oral sex. Um, at the time when my mouth got close to his penis, I just snapped and I, at the time I was fighting for my life and he physically kicked me, punched me in my stomach, bit me, tried to put my hair was very long at the time, tried to pull my hair and at the time the inmates could hear me screaming and they heard the sh uh, scuffling and the cell that was across from me, uh, one which was a Spanish lady at the time, she was the only one able to witness this attack happen to me. I ended up fighting him off. Um, I don't know where the unit officer was at the time because no one came to my rescue. I ended up uh, fighting him back. I lucked up and pushed him down and ran out of the cell. Again, the jail was on a lockdown, so I was caught by the boom squad. The boom squad is their extra security. They come with helmets, the billy clubs. I was taken down by force, beaten with the batons. Um, I was placed in a straight jacket and taken to the hospital infirmary building 9 where they hold mental med patients. Um, while in there, I was stayed in there several months. They medicated me to the point I thought I was trapped inside my body. Uh, after three months of being in a mental institution because of this, I was released. The day I was released, I was told to go back to the unit that I came from. And when I um, reached the lobby, the same officer that attacked me was sitting in the lobby with a smile on his face, like if to say, all of that and I'm still here and you're back. And at that moment, I lost it. I jumped on him and I just kept beating and beating and beating and beating until they took me back. But when I went back to the psycho ward, as they called it, um, I, went, I went to the law library, he filed a petition, a notice of intent, and I took them to court. When I took them to court, uh, women started speaking out, and I found out that he had sexually assaulted several other women in the prison, mostly women that were in solitary confinement. When it was dinner time, and they would ask for their tray, instead of him giving them his, their tray, he would put his penis through the slot instead. In order to get your tray, you had to give him a blowjob. So uh, by me going into court, I opened up the door for a lot of women. In the end, I won. It took me three years to win in court. And I ended up changing the law where it's called Stacy the No Male Path Friskin, Stacy Hamilton versus the state, which is in all states statewide. Um, during this trial, because uh, there was a trial, the uh, DOC tried to make it out as if, um, before I came to prison, if, as if I was a prostitute. I had never been a prostitute. I had never been a person that sold their body for drugs or anything else. So this was abnormal. And I felt in prison, you, you would think you would be safe. You wasn't. It was worse in there than it was in the streets. By me opening up my mouth to fight, it gave the women the courage they needed. One of the women had uh, gotten pregnant by one of the officers that raped her. And they gave her those pills that called the day after. But one, apparently, they didn't feel was enough. So they gave her abundance of them. And she died. She was never able to testify in court.
at that time, Bedford had held their um, population was 935, and out of 935 women, 415 had been sexually assaulted by officers, females and males. Excuse me, it wasn't officers. It, it was all officers of rank, captains, lieutenants, um, uh, sergeants. It was basically people in high ranks that were, do, that were doing this to the women. Stacy and six other women had a class action suit against the state of New York corrections for sexual abuse. It was 1999 and just before they were going to make a decision on what happened, I received a visit, a legal visit from Pataki's lawyer. And he said to me, I see here from the paperwork that you're up to go to the board tomorrow. And I said, yes, I am. And he said to me, if my freedom was guaranteed, would I drop the suit? And I said to him, are those shoes you have on designer? And he said, yes, they was. And I said, well, my answer is, I will not drop the suit. I will see you in court. And I was hit at the board 24 months, five times. My sentence was nine years. I did 18 years. I was not released from prison until the Democrats got in office. And then I never went to a board. A commissioner came and seen me and said I should have been released years ago. Because of my lawsuit, I was kept in prison. Next time on Prison X. Well, you'd have thought he was the toughest guy in the jail. You'd have thought he beat up everybody, you hear me? But this guy wind up, man, being what, what we call uh, a pass along bitch. He got raped, and when I'm telling you he got raped, man, I never seen anything like this before in my life. This guy got raped, man, and these guys that was raping him, man, it was five of them from population. They raped this guy with such lust, such passion, 